Hello everyone, this video is about use rip hook. Uh, in this video, we will just implement the use rip hook and the usage of use rip. First of all, let's define it. It has two uh, common use cases, two use cases which we use the use rip hook. The first one is that to use the use rip allows us uh, to access DOM element, okay, to access our elements from um, our components okay we will implement this in example later okay the second case is that uh, uh, it is used for to create mutable variables which will not re-render the components these are two most common use cases for this use rip hook so let's first of all we will implement the first use case which is to access term elements through use rip hook so we have this input fields in a button so let's first of all access this uh, input elements okay so uh, to access it first of all we need to import the use rip hook after importing it so let's use it so to use it let's write const uh, input element is equal to use rip now we will just use the use rip property of this here let's write rip is equal to with the input element so now through this input element we will access this term element whatever we want we can make changes through that input element so let's first of all uh, print it okay so whenever we press this button we will call a method console.log input element dot current so it has um, a, it will return an object okay this use rip will return an object which has the current property we can console that also let's console that input element first we console this input element then we console here the whenever we click we will print this uh, input a uh, dom element so let's uh, run our application i will move to this folder yeah, it will start the server let's move to this url let's press f12 to move the console see we printed this object so it has as a, an object return an object which has, has the current um, okay this current property and now let's press the uh, this button whenever we press it will return this uh, uh, when we write uh, the input element that current so that has returned the DOM element input field okay so now let's for example whenever we press this button so we should increase the width of this input element so to do it let's come here here I will write uh, input element dot current dot style dot width is equal to for example 250 pixel so let's check it let's press this button see the width has increased okay if you want to focus on this whenever we press the button so we can do that also input element dot current dot focus we will just call this focus method let's refresh it yeah whenever we press this see the focus and also the, uh, the width has increased so it was all about uh, to access a DOM element so the second use case is the for to create a mutable variable so now let's create an example for that so for the second example I have created this input field and also a name I have displayed the name here down okay it looks like this okay whenever we are writing a name here that will be displayed here so now let's we want to check how many renders happen whenever we are when we are writing a name here okay how many renders happen so for this you may be thinking that we should use the uh, use state hook so let's first use this use state hook what happen I will just create one another one here that would be count and set count 
let's use use rip hook use effect hook and let's just update that sit count and let's display that let's save it so we should assign zero default see that is updating constantly okay see it is unstoppable so this is the problem with, with use state hook so now let's use use ref instead of this so let's remove this so to use use uh, ref hook that is imported already so let's write const count is equal to use ref hook let's assign zero so now let's um, update it and we will just use count dot current okay this use rip return an object with current property count dot current is equal to count dot current plus one yeah we just displayed the count here uh, sorry what happened we should print here count dot current check it okay let's write see how many uh, characters we are writing so that is up updating with that okay it is rendering for example 10 times now we enter 10 uh, characters now so it was the difference between use effect hook and um, uh, use rip hook so i hope this uh, was helpful for you this was the second case that uh, uh, to create a mutable uh, variable and the first use case was to access the dom elements so it was all about use ref hook i hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and also like this video and comment down thanks for watching